Let's talk briefly about the ionic charge for hydrogen. So hydrogen on the periodic table, it's right here on the periodic table. In all of the elements in group one, they have a one plus ionic charge. Group two has two plus, we skip the transition metals and so on. So hydrogen right here, its ionic charge is one plus. This is a good one to remember. Let's take a look at why that's the case. So an atom of hydrogen on the periodic table, it's neutral. It doesn't have a negative or a positive after it. That means the number of protons, the atomic number, equal the number of electrons. So we have one proton, that's the positively charged particle here in the nucleus, and we have one electron. So this is neutral. When hydrogen forms ions, it loses an electron, and now we don't have any electrons around the nucleus. We just have the proton there, that positively charged particle. So we can write the symbol for the hydrogen ion as H plus. It's just a proton. You'll see this quite commonly in chemistry when you think of pH. That H plus, that's the H in pH. So acids involve this H plus ion, this proton. When we have H plus in water, it'll join with H2O to give us H3O plus. That's called the hydronium ion. But often in chemistry, you'll see H3O plus and H plus used interchangeably. They mean the same thing to chemists. So to recap, the neutral hydrogen atom, it loses an electron, and we're left with just that positive proton. We call it the hydrogen ion. When it's in water, sometimes it's H plus, sometimes it's written H3O plus. One last thing. It is possible for hydrogen here to gain another electron. When it does that, now we have two electrons and just one positive proton. So then we'll have H minus, called the hydrogen anion. This doesn't happen a lot. Most of the time it happens in the atmospheres of stars, like our sun. For general chemistry, you're pretty much just going to be dealing with H plus. The hydrogen ion has an ionic charge of one plus. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.